What's up guys, it's your boys Wolkie back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Nuke's Top 5. The man, the myth, the legend, the man that brings all the scary stuff to us in a great little present of scariness. And we're going to be taking a look at the top 10, not top 5 of Nuke's Top 5, of ghost videos. So scary, you'll go wackadoo. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, as we get ready to watch Nuke's newest video right here, right now. If you guys are new to my channel because of returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that white bar icon down the bottom right. Smack that bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you'll get that little ring notification that's Wokey myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support that all of you guys show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing, and we'll continue to grow together. Speaking of that, check out the link in the description for Nuke's Top 5 channel himself. Go over there to his channel, watch his old stuff, watch his new stuff. Give him the love that he deserves for compiling this video for us to enjoy. Get scared and lose ourselves in terror. It can take a lot of work, a lot of effort, and Nuke's been around for quite a while. So, with that being said, let's get in the video and see why we're going to turn into a wackadoo from these Top 5 Scary Ghost videos. Let's take a look. Ah, so so. The Hanging Man. In his home in England, family man Ricky Beetle has gotten increasingly more worried about his son Elliot's abnormal behavior. One day, Ricky finds his son whispering to himself in his bedroom. So, Ricky decides to take out his phone and record as he asks little Elliot what's going on. Oh, this guy. He's like, yeah, there's a Elliot, guy in my corner. Oh, that's cool. What's that? What's that in the corner? The man's hanging. Oh, if my kid did this, I would freak out. The oh, really? Yeah. What does he do? Why? Because he does this. Oh, really? Yeah. But I'm not allowed to tell anybody. Okay. Five-year-old Elliot explains that he's drawn the man that is hanging in the corner of his bedroom. Oh, gosh. A man that annoys him at night by banging on the wall. Now, as if that wasn't creepy enough, Ricky later finds his son seemingly talking to someone that only he can see. Stop it. Elliot? What are you doing? Um, I see them hanging. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. It's great. And I just keep doing stuff. I put a thermal you camera in that corner. So this is the photo of the hanging man. He's seen in the corner of his room. I'm but just look, it just looks, it looks like more than one when person. I it completely off. Elliot, can you draw the hanging man for me like you did before? No, can you tell me off at night? What if I don't let him, if he can sleep in my room, is that okay? Yeah. Right, so what's the what's these on his face? Tears. What's this? Um, it's great. Oh, okay. Does he cry quite a lot? Yeah, because he's got hay fever up there and he's up there. Hay okay. fever in the corner. Okay, thank you. But he annoys me at the night because he keeps saying he always bangs on you. Okay, thank you. Now, Ricky believes that maybe his son Elliot just has a bit of an overactive imagination, but that soon changes. Dad Ricky becomes worried when the five year old can't seem to get any sleep for three nights in a row. Ricky decides to let his son try sleeping in a different room, and he installs a security camera to try Good to idea. figure out what's going on. It isn't long before Elliot is woken up once again. When Dad Ricky checks the security footage, it makes his blood run cold. Uh oh. Stop it. This kid was now, yanked. Ricky thinks the strange growl in the footage is nothing more than a vent inside the room, but he has no idea what seems to be pulling Elliot 
out of the bed. Looking for any explanation, he decides to share his story on TikTok. So, just what do you think is going on here? Listen to your kids. Can Elliot's imaginary friend perhaps not be so imaginary after all? Is the hanging He's not gonna real? fake that. And what does he want with Ricky's son? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I don't know, we have a whole bunch of movies that Locked say that away. stuff. Over on the popular YouTube channel, Fourth Wall, they hear a story Love about a Wall. very haunted house. Allegedly, the entity that haunts the house is so strong that it actually took the lives of three of the four family members who lived in the home. Locals claim that only the 10-year-old son was left alive, as his parents had kept him locked in the garage to keep him safe from this evil entity. Sounds like a whole grudge now, that situation. that was 20 years ago. So more recently, a paranormal enthusiast decided to do his own investigation to see if the house is really as haunted as locals claim. Gross. The man places a static camera in the room where the deceased family was found 20 years earlier. What he captures on video chills him to his core. There's somebody standing right here. There's somebody standing in that doorway. It's a white gown. The unexplained loud shaking of the house's garage doors can be heard in the video. But that's not all, because did you see it? Oh, I saw it, Nuke. Someone can be seen standing at the entrance of the room, seemingly watching or waiting. After seeing this ominous looking figure in his footage, the investigator just gets out of there. Good idea. Good. The new owner of the house now fears that his home is cursed. So he contacts popular paranormal YouTube channel, Fourth Wall, and asks them to investigate the house. So, Fourth Wall sends in a cameraman to spend the night and capture whatever paranormal evidence he can. Oh, hell no. It did not go well. Who's that? What the hell? The unexplained voice of a woman can be heard, but what the voice says isn't clear. Okay. Sounds like it's jumbled. The cameraman is a bit freaked out and looks all around, but he is all alone in the house. The investigator decides to leave static night vision cameras inside and outside the garage Spread where the out. little boy was found unharmed 20 years earlier. Oh gosh. The man then leaves the property to see if anything happens while he's gone. When he reviews his footage later, he is shocked by what he captured. What do you get? Those are feetsies. Those are feetsies. The garage doors begin to shake violently as a pale figure seems to walk past the lower opening of one door, ambling slowly towards the room where the family's bodies were found 20 years earlier. The camera outside the garage captures the same loud shaking of the garage doors, but there's no figure to be seen. That's weird. So, 20 years ago, was this what took the unfortunate family's lives? Or is that what's left? And did they lock their son in the garage to keep him safe from whatever this is? You decide. Comment your thoughts down below. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, 
fourth wall. Oh, I'm gonna go watch it tonight. We need scary videos. So if you see something that you think should be on Nukes Top 5, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Email Do it. link in the description. Do it. Cats in the cradle. Nurse Silver Marquette spoon. Jean from Mankato, Minnesota is enjoying a quiet night at home. Ooh, I know that's suddenly that. her eye catches something strange on her daughter's baby monitor. Oh, this is the cat. The ghost cat. And it's not like it's a glitch because the door is shut. Apparently the cat died like two weeks prior. And then she's like, there's a monster at the window. Is Marquette Jean sees a bizarre figure that resembles it looks a, like cat a cat that seems to pass right through her daughter's bedroom door. But when she asks little Everly about the cat, the three-year-old instead complains that, quote, there's a monster in the window and so, that so she's scared. Thing. Now, oddly enough, Marquette says that her beloved cat passed away last summer. She so also a year says ago. that, quote, weird and bad things have been happening in their home for a very long time, but Cat's this is the pissed. first time that they have ever caught anything on camera. Marquette is not sure exactly what this is. Kitty! Strange Playmates. Afnana Rash claims that a strange presence has invaded his home in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. He says that this powerful entity seems to grow stronger with each passing day. Oh, good gosh. That's already giving me the creeps. Don't walk towards it. Oh, Heard that? <laughs> Afnan fully expects that one of his family members is simply playing a prank on him. Oh man! But when he yanks the curtain back, there's no one there. But the bizarre paranormal activity in Afnan's house soon starts to become even stronger. Something seems to be hiding in the very oh. small cupboard in Afnan's kitchen. Something that quickly reveals a small, childlike hand. Afnan begins to wonder if the strange entity that he is dealing with is attempting to imitate a child. And to his horror, before long, whatever this presence is seems to attach itself to his young son. Uh oh. Papa, Assalamualaikum. What the hell? Dupis. Dupis. Muscle. I don't know if that's Dupis. fake or if that's real, but it creeps me out. Oh! I have chills. There's no cuts. How the hell? Afnan oh. is horrified when his son seems to start playing with some strange entity that he can't see. But then, one night, the bizarre presence seems to show itself in its true form. And it's pure nightmare I'm, I'm fuel. I'm so goosebumpy right now. Oh! Oh, you need an 
not do that. Something with long dark hair oh. can be seen lingering behind the fridge. Oh. But when Afnan goes to look, there's nothing there. This thing then appears out of the darkness right in front of him. Now, oh as always, gosh. I leave it up to you to decide whether the clips are real or not. But either way, these videos are definitely very creepy. Oh, I'm so chilled the to the core right visitor. now. Oh my TikTok gosh. TikTok user Alex from the Dominican Republic receives a very bizarre video from one of his friends. Ugh. The video shows his friend leaving his apartment to go to work at around 5.30 in the morning. What happens next is truly bizarre. What the hell? I have so many questions. While closing his apartment door, a very odd looking dark translucent figure can be seen in the background, just walking through the hallway. But then it just disappears into thin air. The guy catches the figure from the corner of his eye, but he doesn't realize what it was until he reviews his CCTV footage. The clip went viral on TikTok, racking up nearly 7 million views. Oh, I and wish. tons of viewer feedback came pouring in. So to very quickly answer some viewer questions and even claims that the video was fake, the guy records a super quick video to explain exactly what happened. So what do you think this could be? Is it real? Or is it all just a TikTok hoax? I don't know! You decide. It's scary Attachments. though. Daniel Thompson from California lives with his mother in a house completely filled with his mom's collection of antique oh, dolls, good furniture, gosh, and no. vintage trinkets. Hey guys, nope. gonna get a little tour of my place because uh, I guess some of you are asking about it. Hi, mom. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Is this with that dollhouse? 1930s Art Deco mannequin. Okay, all of this vintage stuff my mom got in like France, I think. Look at these dolls. My mom just like collects dolls. I, think I collect the room of this house Pops. is filled with antique. Even the bathroom. Daniel says that his mother has been collecting Weird. antiques for as long as he can remember. And he's starting to believe that some of the items might have something supernatural attached Haunted. to them. One night when Daniel hears bizarre tapping coming from a room downstairs, he takes out his phone and begins to record. Guys. That dollhouse man. Nothing. I was expecting to see some face or eyeball in the windows. Like, where is this coming from? The dollhouse is haunted inside the haunted house. Look, you see some, like, face right here. I mean, that looks like one, but... There's somebody right here. It's like knocking at the door. <laughs> Hello? And I was expecting to see a figure. Fuck. 
After the odd experience, Daniel decides to install a security camera to keep an eye on the creepy antique dollhouse. Five days later, and this happens. The furniture starts moving. Miniature furniture inside the dollhouse seemingly moves all by itself. Cut to the next night. It's 2.30 a.m. and the knocking returns. But you should be time, sleeping, man. It's not coming from the dollhouse. Nobody. Right in the entrance, there's a doll. Creepy doll. It's like a haunted movie. At this point, Daniel has had enough and he moves the old dollhouse into the garage with some other old collectibles. And Did you ask your mother? And start to get really creepy. Yeah, the doll's eyes open. I, this is why I don't mess with dolls, man. Dollhouse, doll, dolls, I don't care. Nope, I'm not messing with dolls. No, 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 no. Disturbingly, a doll's eyes seem to move on their own. Daniel begins to wonder if whatever is haunting the dollhouse might have moved into the creepy little doll. Creepy! But some of Daniel's viewers on TikTok start to get a bit suspicious as to whether his clips are real. So some of they want to see the doll. Making all of this up, which I totally get. And honestly, I cannot prove to you like undoubtedly that I'm that it's real I just am reporting to you guys what I am seeing now even Daniel's own mother is skeptical of his claims that something from the dollhouse might now be haunting their home but all that changes one night when she too experiences something downright it's like strange. I have the evidence mom look <laughs> You collect that stuff and eventually you're going to get something that's creepy, haunted. As Daniel's mother is watching TV on the couch, little footsteps like those of a small child can be heard loud, right though. behind her. The sudden spooky sound startles her so much that she quickly raises up to look and is visibly freaked out. Shocked. Because... There's no one there. Nobody. So could Daniel's mother's hobby of collecting antiques for all these years be the cause of their paranormal experiences? Haunted, 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 Or is haunted. it all just an elaborate hoax? You be the judge. You decide. The man on the top floor. Japanese paranormal investigator Gachan from the YouTube channel Clip Store sets out to explore Never an old abandoned hotel all by himself. Oh gosh. The hotel sadly had to close its doors in financial ruin over 30 years ago driving the owner of the hotel to tragically end his own life. Visitors to the abandoned structure often claim to have seen the apparition of a man, and some say they've even heard his voice. Now, while exploring the second floor of the hotel, Gachan is a bit shaken up when he hears strange noises 
coming from somewhere in the hallway. I can't tell if I've seen this one before. These guys do, sure do have some brass cojones. Cause I don't know if I could go in there by myself. I am dead. Oh. Hey, os mios. One of the hotel room doors slams shut all by itself. Gachan's first instinct is to make sure that no other person is with him in the hotel, and he asks several times whether someone is there. When he receives no answer, he takes a look inside the room, but no one there. Oh gosh. During his investigation, Gachan keeps hearing something dripping inside the hotel's elevator shaft. When he reaches the top of the building, he takes a look inside the open shaft. What happens next is downright chilling. Is it above him when he looks in there? But I don't see it. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Kachan looks inside the elevator shaft, but doesn't find anything to explain the strange dripping noise he's been hearing. But when he walks away, his camera pans around and captures the horrifying sight of two legs hanging inside oh! the top of the elevator shaft. Because somebody hung themselves. I probably would have never seen it if you didn't catch it for me. I probably would have never seen it. Gachan doesn't even know what he just captured until he reviews his footage later at home. And freaks out. So could it be that these pale legs belong to the spirit of the deceased owner? Could be. Or is there something else going on here? Let me know what you think. Spooky Oogies. You can watch this entire two-part investigation over on the YouTube channel clip store oh let's go watch it the haunted nevada state prison paranormal investigator aj from the youtube channel ghost vexers paranormal sets out to investigate the infamous nevada state prison in carson city nevada the prison was built in 1862 and housed some of the most notorious and violent inmates in the world like who many of whom never made it out with hundreds of deeply troubled prisoners that lost their lives inside its walls and 160 years worth of history, it's no wonder that the building is said to be extremely haunted. haunted. The old prison was closed down in 2012 and the custodians now host creepy tours to share the strange and very dark history Look of the prison. Look how old it is. AJ is exploring the abandoned jail late at night in hopes of catching some sort of supernatural activity. As he's walking along a cell block all by himself, he captures something truly chilling. All right, I'm gonna head back. Okay, I see it, okay. Get 
Gives you the chills. Yeah. That was pretty terrifying. I would never saw if you didn't point it out. AJ, a tall white figure appears to walk by and out of sight. The investigator says that he didn't even see the apparition at the time and only noticed it when he went back through his footage. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that AJ isn't the first one to capture something truly bizarre at the old Nevada State Prison. The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations team, Patrick and Jason, I love the also caught side. something on camera in the prison that they just didn't see at the time. Jason Did is I filming Patrick one? as he walks down one of the prison hallways. In order to provoke some sort of supernatural activity, yeah, Patrick is acting him. as if he's a new inmate who just arrived at the Nevada State Prison. And then this happens. I'm the newest prisoner. Which sells mine. Oh, that black mask Did that covers his it? face. Even though the bright light shining on Patrick from the camera doesn't change at all, some odd black shadow suddenly envelops most of Patrick's body, blocking out the light. The Haunted Side team only noticed this strange, unexplained light anomaly after reviewing their video later. Ghost on the ceiling. There is no logical explanation as to why Patrick would suddenly be covered in darkness. So, combined with AJ's bizarre white figure, mm. we have two creepy incidents caught on camera at the Nevada State Prison. What are y'all thoughts? So is the old jail haunted by its former inmates? Let me know what you think. Down in the These comments. These paranormal moments can be found on the YouTube channels Ghost Vexers, Paranormal, and The Haunted Side. Like Frozen in his tracks. Take that user bunny. Creed 4 is enjoying a hike out in the woods when he notices a small bunny behaving very strangely. Okay. Oh, this one. It like watches him and then poop. Shapeshifter. Skinwalker. Freezes in its tracks and doesn't move even when the hiker comes close. And it's usually his bunnies like a run. muffled voice asking for help. They won't stay to stick around. Sounds like it's in a bottle. The hiker believes he might have captured Our some bag. kind of strange creature trying to lure him out into the woods. He says that he'll never hike again without some kind of weapon. So or what do you think this creepy voice could be? Friends. Skinwalker? No. Undetected. Nuke's top five viewer German Corona reached out to me about a very strange incident that he captured at his home in Santa Barbara, California. German says that one night he got an alarming notification from his security camera that a person had been spotted on top of his roof. He hurried outside to investigate, but he found no one and nothing there. The same night he receives another notification. Again, a person has been detected on his property. When he reviews his security footage, he is shocked by what he finds. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, it's a kitty. Oh. So the, it looks like the cat can see it. It's right in this little area right here, guys, if you can't see it. Cat looks like it stopped because it's standing right there. See, it's right here. It's a little hard to make out, but the faint shape of 
something can be seen moving it's around like on Jeremy's and property, standing. seemingly climbing from the ground up to the roof and then back down again. Whatever it is seems to capture the attention of German's cat, who seems to stare at the bizarre shape before just looking around in absolute confusion. It's probably like, what the hell so is this? So could it be that German accidentally captured paranormal activity could outside be. his home? Or what do you think this could be? Let me I know. Don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, do it now. And then also turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. You can also follow me on the socials and just say, uh, hi there, Nuke. Hi, anyway, Nuke. Hopefully, I will see you next video. Loved it. So with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this Nuke's Top 5, Top 10. Did it give you did it turn you into a wackadoo? Comment your thoughts down below. Say yes, I'm a wackadoo now. Or no, not scary enough. But don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe on both channels. And we'll see you guys in the next one. So keep it real, keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time.